all this, all this is because productivity in our country has not improved. Productivity has declined. The young but people. But how would productivity uh, improve when even the infrastructure that is supposed to be acting as catalyst for productivity are not there? Yeah. How much megawatts have we improved on oh. right now? Okay. That, in, that, in that's. Have we actually improved on it? And energy, even if you solve the problem of energy, you have solved probably like 30 to 40 percent of the main problems that we oh, yeah. have in terms of growing the SME business in Nigeria. Oh, yeah. You have solved probably 30 or to 40. No, I'm just putting it modestly because there are other factors. There are other factors like See, for, 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 other for me, factors for me, like infrastructure, road infrastructure, and access to raw materials. And, there are other factors. That's why yes. I'm even saying energy. Let's give it 30 to 40 percent. Yeah, yeah. I mean, see, this is one of the things I, I I've talked about in my other YouTube channel. You see, for me, we as Nigerians and Africans as a whole, we rely on the government for everything, and. Unfortunately, that has kept us backward. The government and the and its in, institutions should is just there to make to to create the enabling environment and allow you and I to go out there and do things to provide products and services for each other. But because somehow we bought into this thing that the government should do all these big, big things. That's how we got into the government owning refinery, owning steel, steel companies, owning everything. And where has it has it taken us to? But you know, we can look at it from the flip side. Let me put it that way. Um, and the flip side, I want to look at it is this: when those um, major infrastructure or major factories, let me put it that way, like the refineries, the Ajakuta Steel Complex, and all that stuff, were being built. Two things were happening. We should ask ourselves, were we giving enough incentives for investors to actually build those factories? As at that time, in the 60s, 70s, and all that stuff, why all this were going on. What we preferred to do was embezzle public funds Take it abroad, go and invest in other economies. Yeah. People did not even have confidence in investing in the Nigerian economy in the first place. No, no. Back then, so back the then private sector were... is not confident about investing in the Nigerian economy as at that time. No. What do you think will happen? Is it not just of recent that people like Boa Group and uh, Dangote are getting more confident? investing in this country well you understand we are, which we are talking right, see back then back then we didn't have we didn't have local investors okay we didn't have that's the truth okay we didn't have yeah. local investors who can who could invest like Dan, dangote and boa group okay we didn't have back back then but just if if we have created the environment, foreign investors could, I mean, we had so many foreign investors. In Nigeria. That's exactly what I was talking about. Okay. We had them, but then what happened to them? What happened to in, in the PAN? Country. What happened to PAN? What happened to Volkswagen? 
Yeah. We were we were they once, all up now. once upon a time, we were actually assembling Volkswagen vehicles in Nigeria. Once upon a time, we were uh, assembling Peugeot vehicles in Nigeria. What happened? The environment. Go too far talking about Volkswagen and Pano. Of yeah. recent, do you know how many uh, pharmaceutical multinationals have left Nigeria? Okay. Procter and Gamble have left. Okay. Uh, Gladstone Smith Klein has left. I mean, and so many, uh, so many other ones are doing press up to leave. 